and welcome to Bob's Training Recode Solution. If you want the best marketing video experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. Moreover, if you would like to receive the latest uh, interview news, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat right here, assuming you're speaking and you can read Chinese. All right, so today we're going to uh, talk about uh, this problem called the merge intervals. So essentially, uh, it is giving you a, a list of intervals and then you want to merge them. For example, 1, 3, and 2, 6, essentially to merge to 1, 6, 8, 10, is 8, 10, 15, 18 is 15, 18. So they define a class called interval like this and then, so, um, of course, the brute force, when you look at this problem, the brute force way is when you first have this interval, you just keep merging with every single one of them and then and then you have an interval, interval, and then for the rest of the interval, just keep doing the same thing. So that basically gives you an n square time complexity. And uh, uh, a better way is basically to sort the array, the interval, based on the x, x coordinate, uh, which is the start coordinate, and then and then merge them one by one. So that gives give us a linear merge time. All right, so let's code it up. Um, before we code it up, there's actually just a few situations. When you merge those lists, right? So one situation is you have this guy, the first situation, what I meant is, and then the, this is a previous, and then this is a current. So the current, they are just separated, right? Or the other way is like this. So they, they, they do have this overlap. So when you merge them, it should be from here to here. And then the second, the third one is they are just completely overlap. So after merging, it will be from here to here. Okay. So with the speed itself, and then Here we're just using a comparator. So okay, so this is our iterator. So after that it is all sorted. So what we want to do is we'll just do like this. Since start is already sorted, so now we only need to compare the current start with previous end. So if this happens,
this happens, it will it means basically the previous one you should add it to the result set. Turbo previous start and previous end. So previous start, previous end. Else, else is the other situation. So we can take so else is the start less or equal than the end. So now the interval is more like you can't really say it's this guy or this guy whenever it's, this is the largest guy so that's it but you cannot add it because there might be situations like this so in this case all we need to do is whoever is the largest one you get it and then later on after you execute this while loop so later on for example you you end it like this So what you do is you finally you will don't forget to add the rest of it. Okay. So this is n log n solution. If everything looks correct, compile error thirty five. Alright, thank you very much for watching.